Hey guys, David here at the Crystal Act Company, and I wanted to take the opportunity uh, while here in the studio to uh, talk about polyurethane. Now, polyurethane in itself is a widely used term that ranges in a, a huge variety of products. Products made uh, from pure polyurethane uh, polymers to poly, uh, polyurethane and acrylic blends. But across the board, it's a generic term that's, that's used in today's market. So I wanted to touch on that and kind of explain uh, what we do here at the Crystal Act Company as, as well as what's happening out in, in the industry as a whole. So there's one big misconception with polyurethane, and that's a lot of folks feel or believe that polyurethane is oil-based or solvent-based. Uh, and that's not always necessarily true. Polyurethane in itself can be oil or solvent based, but it also can be a water-based polyurethane, uh, just like the polyurethane we make here at the uh, Crystallac Company. Uh, we have two forms of polyurethane here. Uh, one is our polyoxide floor finish, and the other is our extreme protection polyurethane. Um, totally different from oil-based, totally different from solvent-based. They're a water-based, high solids product that goes on in very thin coats. It won't yellow, uh, it, it won't uh, gum up over a period of time, and, and, and it's a super hard, super durable surface, just like um, you know the polyurethane you've come to, to know and love. Um, some of the com biggest comparisons is if you've not uh, well, this is if you've not looked at a water-based product or a water-based polyurethane recently in the last 10 years or more. Technology has changed tremendously with that and, because, and the reason I say that is a lot of the uh, um, ideas around polyurethane is that oil-based polyurethane is much more durable than water-based. And that's just not the case. Now, it may have been in the 70s, 80s, even into the 90s when technology on the polymers wasn't there to uh, have that durable finish. Uh, but now today, it's, that's not the case. Um, and we'll touch a little more on that in just a second. A couple of advantages between each uh, typically uh, oil-based or solvent-based polyurethanes readily available at your at your big box stores and your local hardware store. And you may not always be able to find a true water-based polyurethane at, at those locations. So that's one advantage that uh, perhaps an oil base would have over a, a water-based product. Um, one of the disadvantages is with a water-based polyurethane, you don't have the high VOCs. Uh, for example, our extreme protection polyurethane is around 1% VOC when oil-based or solvent-based base can be much higher. Um, with that, you know, also comes, uh, you're using it in a residence where you're going to be living and things like that. It's hard to use an oil-based or solvent-based product because of, of the smell, the fumes, it's toxic, it can be hazardous to your health without the proper ventilation and all that. And with water-based, you don't have that to deal with. So that's that's one more thing there. Um, and but and summation and, and to kind of cut all this down, um, water-based has changed in the last 20, 30 years, just like your cell phones, uh, just like your vehicle equipment, uh, just like the technology in your home. There's things available today that weren't available 30 years ago. And so Keep in mind when choosing your polyurethane also that each manufacturer uses a different formula, whether it's oil-based, solvent-based, or water-based. Each one uses a different formula. In those formulas, you can use the premier raw materials to make that product, or you can use uh, cheap um, knockoff products to make that product, uh, raw materials to make that product. So don't compare one polyurethane to another just because it's called polyurethane. It can be a totally different manufacturer, totally different blend, totally different quality. Now, if you're looking for a top quality um, polyurethane, 
you're not going to get that for 10 bucks a pint. You're not going to get that for maybe even 50 bucks a gallon. It's going to cost a little more money, but the advantages of using a quality uh, polyurethane, whether it's oil-based or water-based, um, is, is going to be a lot more durability, a lot more longevity, and just an all better rounding performance product. So um, I know I kind of skipped around a little bit today on, in the video and in explaining this. And if you're looking for a top quality uh, specialty coating, especially in, poly, uh, in polyurethanes, take a look at the Crystal Act company. I'm sure we've got something to match your needs. So if anyone has any questions, please feel free to reach out to us here at the Crystal Act company. Telephone number, uh, Facebook, Instagram, um, our daughter even has a new TikTok account. So we're easy to get a hold of. Just reach out to us. We'll, we'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Hope everybody has a great day.